And then for our next segment, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to do a spotlight on a completely normal college student. We're calling it Talks with the Normie. Please welcome Jordan, our first normal guest. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you guys have been watching the show. It's been a great job. Really? Um, guests usually get here 30 seconds before they go on. Well, early bird gets the worm. Am I right, Birgid? <laughs> what? OK, you know what? We're just going to move past it. Yeah. Um, Jordan, uh, how was your childhood? We just want to know about you. Well, Thomas, a lot of people talk about their childhood being difficult, but mine was actually pretty easy. Actually, yeah, mine was too. Oh, man. Birds of a feather over here, Thomas. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. So nothing interesting to report from your childhood, Jordan? Uh, not really. Things really only got the ski exciting once I started to fly the coop and was able to really get out there and stop being such a lame bird. A, la a lame duck? Right, a lame bird. Take your pick, witch. <laughs> Jordan, as much as we'd love to dive into whatever's going on there, we have to keep this on the rails, so why don't you tell us more about yourself? Sure, 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 sure. Sure thing, Bridget. <laughs> First thing to know about me, I'm a big night bird. I stay up all night. I'm very competitive. I think it comes from me being a small kid. I had a bit of a bird on my shoulder about it. <laughs> Jordan, do you happen to have any pets? Sure, sure, Thomas. I got a horse, let me tell you, a real troublemaker. Ugh, he never drinks his water. You know what they say, you can lead a bird to water, but you can't make him drink. I, is it like, do you, do you want to be able to fly? Of course I want to be able to fly, Bridget. Wouldn't you want to be able to fly? Life is so monotonous. It's always another bird, another bird. So being able to fly, heck yeah, would shake things up. Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Actually. Oh, I've got a ton of great ideas, Thomas. They're a bird a dozen. OK, we've got to move on. Next topic. Of course, of course. I don't want to beat a dead bird. <laughs> Man, that always phrase, phrase always makes me think of my horse back home. but. Bridget, if I could just offer one more piece of advice. OK, go ahead, I guess. Well, take this with a grain of bird, because it's just my opinion. <laughs> but here's what I'll tell you. One day, I was playing my favorite phone game. You guys know the game where you destroy pigs with those flying things? Angry birds? Well, I don't know how they're feeling, Thomas. Anyway, <laughs> I was just sitting there, and I just thought to myself, what am I doing? You know, My sister just went through childbirth. She's a brand new mother. I was doing nothing with my life. So I decided to bird the bullet and just commit to something for once. So I picked up the dictionary. I put my finger on the first word I saw, and I said to myself, Jordan, this is who you are now. It was a weird word, but hey, that's the way the bird crumbles. So, so the word was bird. bird Actually, bird. Bridget, it was fitness instructor. It was a <laughs> really new dictionary. Are you serious? Yeah, and I got a new word and a new outlook on life. You might say I killed two fitness instructors with one stone. That's all the time we have for you, Jordan. You're free as a bird. Oh, I'm not sure what that means, Bridget, but thanks for having me. <laughs> all right. All right, well, Bridget needs a break, so we'll see you after commercial break. So much for normal.